Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Data Bytes. Today we're going to look at the Groundskeeper application. The Groundskeeper app sits on top of the New Relic platform and allows you to see all the agent versions you currently have installed for your APM applications across your account. It allows you to identify any out of date agents and identify any critical exposures that you may have. So let's start by installing the Groundskeeper app. So first I'm going to navigate to apps in my menu bar. And as you can see, I currently don't have the application installed. So I'm going to navigate to New Relic IO. Here I can see the Groundskeeper app where I can add it and give it access to the accounts that it needs to access. The Groundskeeper app is also open source, letting you get under the hood if you need to. You can find the link to the GitHub repository in the description below. Now let's look at the Groundskeeper app once it's installed. So here I switched the newest version V2 and here what I can do is look at all my entities or I can filter this down on the left hand side. Now let's look at all our entities. I get a really good overview of all my applications, what version they're currently running on and the recommended versions as well. For example, for my promo service, I can see the current version that I have installed 9.9 .9, is over seven months old. It's recommending me to install the newest version 10.6. I can also see what features have been enabled, in this case, distributed tracing and logs. Where my agent version is older than the newest version, I can see what exposures might exist. And I can click directly into these to see the docs. If I have a large number of APM applications, I can use the filters on the left-hand side to narrow this view down. For example, I can use custom tags like owner or team. So let's say I'm in the infrastructure team. I can see just the agents that I'm interested in. Or I could use built-in tags like language and filter to just my Node.js applications. Another great feature is that you can export this as a CSV and then use this for project planning purposes. Thank you for watching this episode of Databytes and make sure to check back for new episodes. Uh -huh.